Now let's take a look at problem number 17. In 17, I want to find the derivative of the function f of x is equal to cotangent inverse of the square root of x. All right, so again, we're taking the derivative of an inverse trig function. And so I need to know the derivative of that inverse trig function if this were just an x. So what we should know is that y, if y is equal to cotan inverse of x, then y prime is equal to negative 1 over 1 plus x squared. So it's exactly the same as tan inverse of x, except that I have a negative out in front. And in fact, that's true of all the pairs of trig functions, sine and cosine, secant, cosecant, tangent, cotangent. All the cos, when you take their derivative, you get a negative. Uh, and all the ones that don't start with co don't. So that's kind of an interesting thing. And in fact, for these inverse trig functions, the derivative is exactly the same except for the negative. Okay, so I know what the derivative of cotangent inverse of x is. It's right here. So if I take the derivative of cotangent inverse of something, it's negative 1 over 1 plus that something squared. Now let's come back over here, and I have f prime of x, if I take the derivative of cotan inverse of something, I get negative 1 over 1 plus that something, square root x, squared. But then I need to multiply by the derivative of square root of x. And the derivative of square root of x is 1 half x to the negative half. Now, this is maybe not the greatest form I've ever seen, so we could probably simplify this just a little bit uh, and write this as negative. Uh, on top, I'll just put a 1. On bottom, we have this 2. This is 1 plus x, and this is a square root of x on the bottom. So this would be another way to write our derivative.